Well, we are hosting the 34th annual Shelby Township Art Fair on the fairgrounds today. Uh, we got music going, people everywhere enjoying the festivities. The 34th annual Shelby Township Art Fair saw big crowds as the municipal grounds was the place to be. And there are so many reasons why our art fair is so special. It's kind of more of a family-oriented event. Some fairs that you go to are just for grown-ups and just for art, but we have a lot of art, but we also have a lot of activities. So it brings in families and um, you don't have to have a lot of money to buy something. We've got uh, art and crafts available for every price point. And this is a favorite event for local artists as they show off their craft. I'm doing a continuous strand weaving on a, a triangle loom and I'll make a bunch of these triangles here and then I'll piece them together and make us an infinity scarf. Actually my mom and I took a class from another lady and um, we just continued to do this. All right, talk to me a little bit about how long does it take to make a scarf or a purse for example that I see here. Um, depends on what type of, of scarf it is. One like this probably takes Probably about two days altogether, so not, actually not too bad. So. <laughs> I make uh, birdhouses out of stones. Where did the inspiration come from to make birdhouses out of stones? Middle of the night idea. These look good. The Route 66 is cool. Well, I've been doing it about nine years now. Uh, a small birdhouse like the ones that you just filmed takes me about 40 minutes to put the stones on it. Where do you get all the stones from? I get them shipped in from California. Okay. Is there a reason why you get them shipped in from California? Can't buy them anywhere in the Midwest. <laughs> What are your thoughts on the Shelby Township Art Fair? Well, I've been doing it for 10 years, and it's my number one show. It's the best show. It's a well-run show, good people. I mean, i got a lot of friends on both sides of me all the time every year, so. She's all back to me. wanted to have some fun with the family. Um, I called up all of my in-laws and asked them to come over today and do breakfast and come out to the art fair. It's just a fun way to get together. Absolutely. What are your thoughts on the art fair? I love it. We come here every year, so it's fun. It's a good time. It's always a good time. Okay, so I have to ask you, ladies, is there anything in particular you're shopping for today? I picked up some gifts, jewelry for my sister, and um, some little kids-type stuff, jewelry and uh, little hair bows and stuff. I know you won't believe me, but I refuse to let you go. If I have to beg and plead for your sympathy, I don't mind, but you need that much to me. And you try to beg, and you don't let me go.
Please don't leave me, girl. Don't you go. Now if I sleep on your doorstep all night day, just to keep you walking away, let your friends laugh. Even this I can stand, cause I'm gonna keep you anyway I can. Ain't too proud to be, darling. Don't leave me, girl. Don't you go. Just, it's a gorgeous day, and we were looking for something to do. And our parents live out this way, so we thought we'd stop in here first, and then we'll go see them. Yeah, you seeing anything that's interesting you today? Everything. Well, we Everything. stopped at the food. We haven't even made it to the <laughs> booth yet. <laughs> They're called bandsaw boxes. They are uh, a very old form of woodworking. Um, you take a block of wood, you cut it into a shape with a bandsaw. I use different types of woods in every box, at least two types. All the trees grew here in Michigan, they grew up in the thumb area, um, around Brown City, 50 mile radius sort of. So everything's, everything here is all Michigan wood. Now, how long have you been doing this and how did you realize that you had a talent for woodworking? I've been playing with wood since I was a kid. I started with clacks, but nobody bought clacks, so I started making the bandsaw box. So I've been making these boxes for about eight years, nine years, something like that. You're a falling star. You're the getaway car. You're the line in the sand when I go too far. You're a swimming pool on an August day. You're the perfect thing to say. And you play your cards, but it's kind of good. When you smile at me, you know exactly what to do. Uh, baby, don't pretend that you don't know it's true. Cause you can see it when I look at you. And in this crazy life, and through these crazy You're a carousel, you're the wishy well, and you light me up when you ring my bell. You're a mystery, you're from mother space, you're every minute of my every day. And I can't believe, girl, that I'm your man, and I get to kiss you, baby, just because I'm scared. Whatever comes my way, we'll see it through, cause you know that's what I love can do.
country song that I sing along. Baby, you're my everything. Oh, yes, you are, baby. Come on, y'all. So la, 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 la. Say la, 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 la. This is great. I love it. It's a beautiful day. A lot of great items here for sale. I'm making a, a crazy quilt purse. I hand embroider it all and I was just attaching the frame to uh, the purse itself and now the handle. So what got you into this? Oh my god I started embroidering when I was in high school and I've just embroidered everything around the house. I needed a new outlet. <laughs> I'm part of the Shelby Township Art Fair and I make jewelry and um, this is my second year participating in the art fair. It's beaded um, jewelry, I guess you could say, with um, macrame and crochet techniques and assorted bead weaving and knotting. You know, what got you into this and um, tell me a little bit about your art. It started about um, around 2001 and I was wearing a bracelet and an aunt saw it and said, did you make that? And it was like what? I can make jewelry? And so it just, it took over my life from there. In the past 15, 16 years, I've been um, evolving and creating new pieces and trying to make jewelry my own, um, my own art, I guess you could say. Why do birds suddenly appear every time? You are near, and just like me, they long to be close to you. Why do stars fall down from the sky every time you walk by? And just like me, they long to be. That you were born, the angels got together and decided to create the dream come true. So they sprinkled moon dust in your hair and golden starlight in your eyes are blue. And that is why all the girls in town follow you all around. Just like me, they long to be close to you. And decided to create a dream come true. So they sprinkled moon dust in your hair and golden starlight in your eyes of blue. That is why all the girls in town follow you. This is uh, an alteration to uh, a Jasper and Petoskey necklace set. Uh, the uh, buyer wants it to be three inches longer, so I can easily re restring it and make it longer as part of uh, my little business I do yeah. uh, to, to uh, fit things exactly right, both bracelets and uh, ear earrings and necklaces. Now talk to me a little bit about the jewelry you make and the materials that you use. Um, I've got 
about a half a dozen pendant types, which are for our our um, fossil coral from the lake. Petoskey is the most um, well well known, um, <clears throat> and I use a lot of jaspers for the necklaces, a lot of mother of pearl, and a lot of amazonites. What is your overall thoughts on the Shelby Township Art Fair? It, it's really nice. Um, beautiful park. Um, it's very well spread out. Um, they've given the the um, artists a lot of space in their um, booth area and um, it's very well visited it's really nice We have several sponsors for the Shelby Township Art Fair, and they're kind of the backbone because without them, we would not be able to host this event. It takes a lot of money to do what we do here, and um, their support is crucial in uh, making the event happen. Another huge success by the Parks, Recreation, and Maintenance Department. What a great weekend to enjoy Shelby Township.